Hello everyone, Prince Fatewood here with another episode of Let's Play Guild Wars. We are going to be doing the Great Northern Wall today. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the bonus, but we'll see how it goes. I believe it's collecting armor for a particular NPC. Now let's go ahead and gather our party. Alicia, Stefan, and Orion. Now we're going to go ahead and enter. Right. Mission objective, search north of the wall to find the Char army, and then report your findings to Captain Calhan. Let's see what Captain Calhan has to say. We fear the Char General Bo Bonfaz Burnt Fur. Uh, oh. Can't keep up with what he's saying. And usually it says it right here in the chat, but you know what? We'll just take his word for it. The few that I read. Let's go to Knight of Zeros. Quite a few wood tail devourers out there. guys are looking at the first official mission of the Guild Wars. Besides, you know, the mission that kind of transitions you from pre to post searing. Now, I don't believe it's a very long one either, so we will definitely get it going, get it done. Enemy types, we're going to be seeing a lot of carry-on, which are the scorpions and char. We may see some growl, I think. I think. I'm trying to shake myself out of Guild Wars 2 mode and back into Guild Wars 1. Alright, yep, we do have some growl. Let's go and ignite those arrows again. Start out with a point blank shot. Let's make it rain. I hope everyone's having a great day. It's actually night for me right now. It's a late at night. Really, it's just mainly because I wanted to test out the new audio settings that I have going on right now. I've been just tinkering with it for the past few videos. Okay, run. I'm trying not to be super quiet because I'm trying to get the best representation of the sound right now. But my son is asleep in the next room, so I may be a little bit more soft and spoken. Now, get off the head. Did I sell last time? Yes, I did. So that's good. When grouping an enemy, they're gonna get that firestorm. Let's grab those coins. Get away from my healer. Right. Barkingtons are currently at level 10. Or not level 10. <laughs> level 9. They're going on level 10, so that's exciting. I'm getting stronger. Better, faster, stronger. Alright, we got more growl. Let's ignite. Of course, we want to take care of the Uladite first. I always go for casters. I'm going to be looking into new armor here soon as well. I wanted to wait until we got to Beacon's Perch or the Shiver Peaks to get new armor, but. We'll see how it looks after this mission. Probably looking to buy more skills too. I believe that is a ranger boss, maybe? Nope, it's a necro boss. 
get the two issues because both Ranger and Necro bosses are clean. Give us all the goodies. I want all the goodies. We got some more. Now we do want to keep our eyes out for piles of like garbage. Piles of scrap. Now with this mission, I always, sometimes I fail it, because at the very end, when we're running away from the enemies, it tells you to look for a new way out, and I, a lot of the times I will run in the wrong direction, so hopefully that isn't a problem for me anymore. Hopefully I've grown since my younger years on not completely running in the wrong direction. Let's open up that lever. And can you continue on through the desolate wastelands? You may be going against gargoyles as well. I distinctly remember gargoyles. It may be this mission. I think there's a point where there's like gargoyles and Grawl just attacking each other or maybe gargoyles and Char. Hello, enemies. Right, this is where a lot of them are gonna attack. Night arrows. One to group together. As soon as we hit 10 energy, I'm gonna use that lava form. Get some burn damage in. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of enemies. Stefan, you're doing it. Stefan, my man. Elementalist. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, another one. Now, I've said in my past videos, I might do the regular mission or regular quest until a mission comes along and then do the mission and then just move on uh, just because there's a lot of quests to go through and I would love to do every single one of them but there's a lot more of the story progression I want to get through so let's go this way first like I said we we're looking for armor pieces I think the NPC is a ghost I believe. No, well, yeah, that might be it. Some wreckage. And there's the gargoyle versus the crawl. Alright, kilns. Alright, so that's one piece. That is kilns, testibris, kiss. It's a mouthful. Let's go and wrap around here. Start firing it. We got a boss up there. Gargoyles definitely have those girls surrounded. So I'm going to try and pick off the gargoyles first. Good deal, good deal. Another firestorm. I'm liking the combo. It's probably not the, the most optimized combination, but I just love the the thought of casting elements as you're shooting a bow. Ideal combination for me. I like burn damage. Alright. I saw that still. A part of me wants to go back because I'm not sure if there's... You know what? We're going to go back this way. We want to be thorough when it comes to the bonus. So that's how we're going to play. Kill everything. There's a shatter gargoyle up there. We will not stand a chance. They're pretty squishy. We got you, got you. 
might invest in a better weapon too. Let's see. It's a pretty good bow still. Pretty good. Got some carry on. Carry on my way, oh, I always think it's supernatural. Firestorm. Got Moa. Poor Moa. Sorry you got caught in this. I'm sorry. I think I th yeah, I think we're good. That just circled back around. Oh yeah. This is the first mission, so I really don't think it's going to take very long. But, it may, since we're going for the bonus. Oh. I've been slow. Wait. Imagine burden. For eight seconds target. Felt like a lot less than eight seconds. Oh, there's Kiln. Testabri, I believe that is the guy we have to turn the armor into. In life, I was known as the champion of Sumeria. In death, I am the re uh, restless spirit. Cool. Please help me. Okay, recover the four pieces of Kiln's Testabri's armor and return them to his tomb. Okay, so we want to keep note that this is the area we want to come back to. Um, let's go look for some armor pieces. I really wish I could recall where they're at exactly. One girl down. Now, I'm, I can't recall if they're all going to be in wreckage or not, but we will definitely keep our eyes peeled. Oh, I see some wreckage. Oh, there's a boss. Looks to be a warrior boss. Rain. And we're going to need to be lava fog. Alright, let's give a chance. Ah, oh, dang, I gotta prepare my, uh... My distracting shot for the warriors. Yeah, I think. I think. No, yeah, there we go. I was say, I, I couldn't remember a healing signal with an instant. Uh, an instant ability. Now we're gonna come back over to the scroll. Um, I need to start sitting up straight. I am killing my back. Alright, this should be another piece. Yep. There's two. Alright, two more. Two more pieces. So, two of them being in wreckage, I would assume the remaining two are also going to be in wreckage. Keep our eyes peeled. Always throws me off that the devourers are rangers, or have ranger abilities. Here. Oh been spotted. Close to fall. Yeah. Go around here. Now of course with the missions I'm not going to be doing every single bonus but I am going to try my best to do the ones that I remember. That should be another piece up there. Burn, burn, burn. Yeah. 
Okay, with arrow heart is on the case. Okay, missing armor. Poor ghost. This thing, there were ghosts in Ascalon way before the Searing. That should have been a... Yeah. That should have been a heads up to, uh... To the char, maybe, maybe not kill everyone. I don't know. All right, that is one, two, and then the three. So we just need the fourth one. So we'll keep going this way. If we don't see it a little bit further up, we'll just we'll just double back. We got the boss up here. I'm gonna say that phrase a lot, by the way. Let's just make it rain. Oh man, I should use one. There we go. I was gonna say I should use my destruction shot on that troll. Troll one. Sorry, hiccups. I really don't want to continue that way because I think that's where the mission progresses. So we're going to double back after we kill this char. It's so weird, like, seeing char in Guild Wars 2. And, you know, when you see a char, when they run, they run on all fours. But, you know, char in this game, they, you know, they run on their, on their two legs. But I can see how that would be really hard to animate. Back when what 2005 when this game came out, I do I do like the change that they made to the char though. Whenever you're playing like running on all fours is super sick. I feel really cool doing it. Speaking of which, I should probably play on my char more. I have a I made a char thief in Guild Wars 2. It's just I don't really like thief, so I'm just like it kind of turned me off to playing that character. Looks like Stefan's gonna go take care of that guy down there, hopefully. No, he's right behind me. Good soldier. We're just gonna circle back around, down. Come on, it has to be here somewhere. And there you are, Gargoyle. Okay, so. This is where the massacre happened down here. I'm just trying to be very thorough here. Okay, so... Let's just keep going this way. Hopefully we'll spot it. Colonian chest. Do I have any keys? I do not. Let's see. Uh, slice of pumpkin pie. Increase your attack speed by 25% and to reduce your skill activation time by 15% for the next 10 minutes. You know what? Once we get to the next grouping of enemies, ah, naturally that would be wasted. I think we're almost done with the mission. So let's go back this way. Give these to Kiln. And then hopefully... Hopefully we can find that last piece. I think I may have passed it. Hopefully I'm not that blind. Ranger, Ranger. 
quickly kill him. Alright, just one more. One more piece. One more piece. Where have I not explored yet? Not in there. Just doing a lot of backtracking now. Maybe. No, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go over here and see if maybe it, maybe it's just in that little spot I haven't explored. It'd be so funny if it was. It's along this road. No. More back. Oh, joy. Oh, there it is. Heck yeah. What oh, genius. It's protected by the carry on. Wait, what sounds? I would like to again thank everyone who's been watching my videos and being so patient as I've been away. I'm excited to be playing again, and as I said, as long as there's at least one person watching the videos, I will continue making them. It's nice to be able to record my gameplay, talk to myself. It makes me feel less alone when I'm gaming, which is nice. I'm hoping the sound is doing good when it comes to the in-game audio and my voice. Like I said, been tinkering with it. Just turned down the in-game just a tad bit because the action in Guild Wars 1 gets really, really, like the, the sound effects get really, really loud. And instead of tampering with the in-game settings and messing all that up, I decided just to mess around with the OBS settings, which is the recording program that I use. All right, bonus. I will remember your kindness when we meet again in the underworld. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Sweet, 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 cool, cool, cool. Alright. Sounds good. Sounds good, buddy. I'm gonna try not get to get not murdered by a whole bunch of char, but I believe once we hit a certain point there's a timer. And if we don't get to the gate by the time that timer ends, then uh then we fail the mission. So hopefully I do not embarrass myself because I'm very, very adamant about not doing retakes. Like if I fail the mission, I'm, I'm going to post this no matter what. One, because I don't like to waste time. And two, it feel like a double waste of time if I both failed the mission and, and didn't post the video. It would be a twofer. Good news is I don't have to kill anyone on the way through here because I've already done it. La -da 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 -da. I'm trying to think of the way it was to go back. I guess I'll figure it out once I get there. See, I think we go across a, a giant bridge. Almost there. I'm gonna see what the char are up to. What are they doing? What is it that they are doing? We shall see. Alright, cutscene time. The char invasion force. Captain Callahan was right. They've spotted us. Back to the wall.
Run! Alright, so I'm just gonna continue running. Running this way. Yeah, I think we're good. I think. Fairly certain we are. How did I ever run the wrong direction? I think it's because of that camera pan and seeing the 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 NPCs running or my NPC allies running towards me, it makes me want to go backwards. But then I would just be met with char so I th I think I think I may have just been really dumb. Really dumb. We're just not, we're just not gonna mess with these enemies here. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna run right into them. They're gonna block my path. If any one of your party members reaches Captain Cowhand with news of the Charmbation, your entire party would succeed. Thank you. Alicia's dead. Orion's dead. Soul survivor. That is me. Almost there. Look at that great northern wall. I'm looking to possibly start another pre searing character and do a pre searing only video series. Um, the reason why I didn't keep this character in pre-searing was because I had some wise words from Tarheel, and he said that, you know, you have to do the quests and such in a certain way where you get the maximum amount of experience, because experience starts to get really, really hard to get in pre-searing if you don't do it in the right order. So I'm definitely going to make a pre-searing only character, and maybe, maybe Legendary Mia will be there, and, and she'll be able to help me out. That would be cool. I'll look into what, what best to do when it comes to a priest hearing, but I've also got my faction series to do, so. Captain Kelhat. You're back. Well done. What news of the Char? Sir, we found Bonfast Birdfur and the Char army in a valley to the north. But I'm afraid we were spotted. They come for the wall as we speak. There are too many. We'll never hold them back. The wall is lost. We must fall back. Shane. Hello. First mission done. Alright, and that spits us right out at Fort Rannick. Ooh, it is dark here. Dang, why is it so dark? Alright guys, well that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me. We will continue on our way on the next episode of Let's Play Guild Wars. Please like and subscribe, and can't wait for the next one. Thank you so much for continuing to watch my channel. Have a great day.